Now, what are the periods of classical music? We have Baroque, Classical, Romantic, Impressionistic, and Contemporary. Number one, let's start off with the OG style Baroque. Here we name drop J.S. Bach, Handel, Scarlatti, and Vivaldi. Some characteristics include multiple melodies, also known as polyphonic texture, use of ornamentation, fancy things like trills and mordants, and terrace dynamics, meaning loudness changes more suddenly. Number two. Next, we have classical. Most people know Beethoven, Haydn, and Mozart, who are all from this period. Characteristics of the classical period include only one melody, also known as homophonic texture, obvious endings and chord changes, and a type of repeated harmony known as Alberti bass. Here's an excerpt from one of Mozart's sonatas one of the most common forms of classical music. Notice the clear melody on top and the repeated Alberti bass below. Number three, my favorite, the Romantic period. Here we get icons like Brahms, Chopin, Liszt, and Tchaikovsky. Some characteristics include music titles that have cute names like Sylphs, or Morning Bell, or The Parting, colorful harmonies that are more expressive, lyrical melodies that sound like someone singing, and more complex rhythms. Here's an excerpt from Chopin's Ballade No. 4. It has everything to swoon over. No. 4. The Impressionistic Period. Most of this period's music comes from Debussy or Ravel, and the main things are that harmonies and melodies are often blurred. Fourths and fifths are often used. And scales like the pentatonic scale are used to imitate Asian music. Listen to how tranquil and water like Debussy's Claire de Lune is. Number 5. Finally, we have the weirdest of them all. Some contemporary or 20th to 21st century music is relatively normal, like Gershwin, who was influenced a lot by jazz. Others are pretty strange. There are a lot of weird technical terms for contemporary music, but just remember that it usually sounds like a crazed adult having edited the work of an overly ambitious toddler. So there you have it, all five periods of classical music.